free are we since the um, George Bush's war of terror against the world? You know, he's taken away our rights to habeas corpus. We have something called the Patriot Act. Pretty soon we're going to have to walk through the screening of the airports naked. He spies on us. He listens to our phone calls and reads our emails. All in the name of this war of terror that he's waging. We're not free. You know, and where were we when all these freedoms were taken away from us? There weren't millions of us out in the street. There should have been. You know, when they suspended habeas corpus, where were we? When he admitted to breaking FISA laws, which is a federal felony, and it also breaks the Fourth Amendment to the Bill of Rights, why wasn't he immediately arrested for admitting to a felony? to justify their support of this war by saying the soldiers volunteer. Well, you didn't volunteer for this, did you? Aaron, you told us you volunteered because you love the country and you wanted to defend the country. You didn't want to, they don't want to go over and kill innocent people and die for oil. And if it's a volunteer organization, if they don't want to do it, why can't they just unvolunteer? Yeah. Have any of you? Have any of you belong to a volunteer organization where the mission changes and you just decide to quit going? They don't hunt you down and put you in prison for for um, quitting your volunteer organization. Well, I know the mission changed for these young men. And they should just be able to unvolunteer if it's a volunteer organization. And these young men are actually fulfilling their oath to protect and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And like we've already established, our domestic enemies are more of a threat to us than our foreign enemies. Yeah. Now I hope that you all didn't think that when I said the anti-war movement is not going to think about our soldiers until the 4,000th soldier that I was talking about you. Because I know none of you belong to the anti-war movement. You all belong to the peace movement. definite difference between the anti-war movement and the peace movement. There was an anti-war movement in Vietnam and what happened to it when the war ended? Everybody put their signs and peace symbols away and went home. And that's how we got into the this war and the other wars since Vietnam. Okay everybody, that doesn't spell cake me, it spells impeach. <laughs> Oh, wait.